Okay, it's lunch prep now. Uh, my kitchen is a bit manic, so ignore that. It's the last day I'm cooking everything in the kitchen. Um, okay, so what do I have in my magic counter? I have some cooked chicken. I just cut it up, put it in with some onions, cooked it up, a treat, and now I'm going to give it a sherry and cream sauce. So, if I can get the cream open. Oh, I'm not normally this retarded. I promise. Oh, oh my God. There we go. So I'm gonna put, okay, let me see. Two cups of cream? Maybe three? Three cups of cream, let's say. And I am gonna heat that with I'd say half a cup of sherry. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so that's going on. This is something I keep on hand. I make it at the start of the week. It's gross, look. It's called a roux. A roux is a mix of oil and cooked flour. Um, and it's used to thicken the sauces. So, when I am done, heating that sauce, I'm going to dump this in and it's going to get all thick and gooey and lovely. Okay, so then when I'm thickening the sauce, I'm going to dump the chicken in, leave it for a little while, and then I'm making it into a pie. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Barely cooked chicken, so it's still a little pink inside because we're going to put it into the sauce, so we have a nice thickened sauce in here. We're going to season it, we're going to give it some salt, we're going to give it some... Nutmeg. We'd give it pepper if I could find it, but I can't find it because my kitchen is such a mess right now. So there they goes the nutmeg. Um, and then we're going to give that a lovely stir. Stir it all up. And I'm going to dump the chicken in there. In he goes into a lovely white sauce. So we're going to cook that so the chicken is going to end up cooked. Remember when you're serving meat like chicken, you want to check that it's cooked to the side so make sure you find a biggish bit, a couple of them, cut them up, see if they're still pink inside or not. Now I know some of these are still pink inside but once they've been in cooking in the sauce for a little while, they're going to be all good. And I also have these. These are phyllo rolls. Sorry, <laughs> puff pastry rolls. Um, so we're going to make them into a puff pastry pie. So there we go. There's the lovely sauce and chicken. It smells good. It smells absolutely wonderful, in fact. Um, so I'm going to put that on. And then puff pastry sheets. One of them. Be gentle. Come on, off you go. Anyway. One of them is going in the bottom of this lined and greased pan. I then have two eggs slightly beaten and my trusty paintbrush. It's not really a paintbrush, I promise. Okay, I have egg washed bottom. I am going to take this knife, and I'm going to draw a frame. In said pastry. Don't know if you can see that, don't care. But there is a frame there, okay? Now I'm going to stab inside. Okay? I want the sides to rise, and I want it to be sticky so it sticks to the other side but I want the middle because that's where all the chicken's going to go I want that not to rise so much so I'm just stabbing, 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 stabbing there we go okay now here's our chicken I think I made too much, it doesn't matter I'll find someone to feed it to there's always hungry people wherever I go and they always love being fed our base manager um, our mechanics, the ladies that do dress the bed for me, 
they're always hungry, everybody's always hungry. So, if I cook too much, it ain't a thing. It ain't a thing. So, as you can see, I'm trying to keep the chicken on the inside of the frame. Da -da -da. Because then, if you haven't already guessed, I'm going to put the second sheet on the top. Okay, I think that's about as much chicken as it can take. Can you see all this chicken left? There's a lot of it. So yeah, I definitely overcooked it. So now I'm going to take the second sheet and lay it over the top. And I'm going to pinch down the sides. Pinching, 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 pinching. I mean, it's not a freaking Michelangelo. As long as it tastes good, you can leave it Jamie Oliver style, rustic like. You like Jamie Oliver style? Okay, so. Ta da! Okay. It's gonna be one big pie! Then I'm gonna egg wash, egg wash. This makes it nice and shiny when it comes out. If you hadn't already noticed, I'm pretty excited because it's the last day. <laughs> Um, and I don't have to do dinner tonight, um, and I just get to sit inside and relax and watch a movie maybe, and I get to prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow we get a new set so um, of guests, I mean. So we take these guests in at 9 o'clock and we pick up a new set at 5 o'clock in the, the same day. So I use my Friday night to prepare. Um, so uh, I'll prepare for the snack, I'll make a roux, I'll get rid of all that stuff that I've got laying around, like all that fruit over there, I mean I've got banana bread, so, uh, sorry I've got bananas, so I'll make that into banana bread, I've got, you saw me make the, I had the limes and the kiwis, I made the lemon curd, um, so yeah I do lots of things, so I'm just going to put a couple of holes in this so it doesn't uber explode on me. There we go. Egg washed and beautiful. Now it's going to go in the oven. Look, pie. Okay, so I bought a pie. Um, I ran out of lettuce, so I made a bean and cumin salad. Cut up some veg, carrot, celery. Caramelize some onions. Did some mushrooms. I'm gonna throw it on the plate, make it look pretty. It's gonna be awesome. Here we got chicken pie, bean salad, all on the plate, looks lovely.